Hello. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to terminate a 2 slash 3 millimeter connector. For purposes of this demo, I will be utilizing a 3 millimeter cable. First, turn on your splicer. Once it's come to your main screen, make sure that all of your parameters are properly set. If not, press select and go into each individual menu to change to the proper setting for your application. Escape to your main screen. Then we need to prepare the cable. First, put on your back screw. Then your back boot. Next, your heat shrink. Then take your slitter and slit approximately one inch of the outer jacket. Then with a pair of snips, remove the outer jacket. Open your HS 2.5 holder, take your Kevlar, twisting your Kevlar, then hold it against the outer jacket. Take the HS 2.5 holder, open your door, place your tube inside the holder and push up to the front. Close your holder. Turn your stripper on, open your left and right stripper doors, place in your stripper, close both your doors. Then open your left door first, remove your holder, then open your right door, remove your trash. Take your cleaning wipe, clean your fiber. Then fully open your cleaver door and your trash bin. Place your holder in, push again all the way forward. Put down your trash bin door, your cleaver door, and depress the button. Then you can open your cleaver door, fully engaging it, remove your holder, place within your splicer. Next, we need to prepare our connector. Open your connector door, place your connector inside the holder, close your door, place in the stripper, close both your doors. This point, open your left door, remove your holder, take your cleaner, clean, your fiber, open your right stripper door, remove your trash. Then open your cleaver, open your trash door, place your holder in the channel, make sure it's pushed all the way forward, close your trash door, your cleaver door, depress the button. Open the cleaver door again until it's fully engaged. Remove your holder, place in your splicer. Then close your wind cover. Once your alignment is complete and you're happy with your left and right cleave angles, press play to complete the arc. Then open your wind cover, allow your tensile test to be performed. Then 
Then open the left and right holders. Remove your connector and allow it to drop freely. Bringing your heat shrink all the way up to the back of the connector. Then place it in your oven. Turn your oven on. Close your doors to your holders, then close your wind cover. Once your light goes out, open your oven, remove your connector, place in your cooling tray. Allow the heat shrink to cool at least 10 seconds. Then bring your back boot up, snap into your connector, Take your front shell, snap it onto your connector, then take your back nut and fully screw it on to the back till it's firmly seated. This completes this video. Thank you.